In the last episode, you saw what happens when I decide I can't be bothered to uh, actually set up a countdown. So, uh, <laughs> make sure I don't record another 40 minute episode and let's play the Tales of My AR. Now, we also cleared out the Troll Mire and found a whole lot of good loot, namely the uh, Reflection Rune, which I have here now, and the Skull Cleaver. Which is a pretty nice artifact, although we are not going to use it. But we are going to use it for a quest. Now there is a guy... St there he is! <coughs> the Novice Mage. Before you stands a young man. A Novice Mage by his looks. A good day to you, fellow traveller. <coughs> you may also hear them getting a bit of a cold, so I'm trying to get some recording in before it hits me. What brings an apprentice mage out, in out into the wilds? Ah, my story is a sad one. I should not trouble you with it, my friend. It is no trouble at all. Please tell me. Well, if you insist. I'm a novice mage, as you might have noticed, and, and my goal is to be accepted by the people of Anglewyn and be taught the secrets of the arcane. Uh, who are the people of Anglewyn? The keepers of the... are... Uh, uh, I don't think I was supposed to talk about them. Uh, sorry, my friend. In any case, I'm, I must collect many items. I have some already, but I'm still looking for an arcane-infused artifact. Uh, you don't happen to, hap uh, to have one, I imagine. Well, if, if you do, please tell me. I will keep that in mind. Now, he wants an, an artifact with arcane power, which is this. So, we'll, we'll be a nice guy here. Uh, I found this artifact. It looks powerful and arcane-infused. Maybe it would be enough. <coughs> like this. Let me examine it. Oh yes, my friend, this is indeed a powerful artifact. I think that it should suffice to complete, uh, complete my quest. Many thanks! Well, I cannot use it anyway. <coughs> uh, so you have enough magical items now? Ah yes, I'm, I'm so glad. I will be able to go back to Angle... Er, oh, oh well, I guess I can tell you. You deserve it for helping me. During the dark years of the spell hunt, many thousands of years ago, Linari, ill, the great mage of the court cruel, worried that magic might disappear with her generation and be lost to mortals should they need it again. So she set up a secret plan attraction and built a secret place where magic would be kept alive. Her plan worked and the group built a town called Anglewood in the western mountains. He marks it on your map, along with a portal to access it. Not many people are accepted, but I, uh, I will arrange for you to be allowed inside. No! Oh, how could such a place be kept secret for so long? This is interesting indeed. Thank you for your trust. So, we discovered the secret city, which is now here, on the map. Um, this also unlocks the, I think, the Archmage class. <coughs> so, that's that's really nice. There's the old forest. However, I'm tempted to go for the uh, Ruins of Corpool first, because it's, it's experience we need. But we can go shopping in Anglewind first. Now Anglewind is a scary place. At least according to the uh, thing. Oh, something is loading now. Uh, here, in the corner here, you feel a thrill of terror and your heart begins to pound in your chest. You feel terribly threatened upon entering this area. That is because there are very, very strong enemies here. Well, not enemies, they are... Oh wow, they even spawned a, a unique guy here. The... Uh, they're giving me a lot of rares today. Or in, in this playthrough. There are a few guys here. This person, for example. Linalio. Wow, she's still alive. <coughs> um, a tall woman stands before you. Her fair skin radiates incredible power through her white robe. I am Linali of the Carcruel. Welcome to our city, Summoner. What may I do for thee? Um, nothing for now. Sorry to have taken your time. Farewell, my lady. <coughs> oh, some, some geomancers up here, I think. Yeah, we don't need to talk to them. Anyone over here, I wonder? Well, they're having uh, their own little uh, farming area, so I wouldn't suppose they need help. And there is another guy. The Archmage Torellion. 
I say you there. Yes, you young one. You seem like the advent uh, like the adventuring fair. Up to all sorts of do daddle in the outside world, I imagine. Well, don't forget to pay patronage to our good library here in the city. The riches of the world are all well and good. But where would we be without the gift of knowledge? And all proceeds go towards funding of further research. No greater cause, yes? Oh, um, uh, well, of course, yes. I'll be moving on now. I think... I ah, know. Okay. Here we could get staff training for a lot of gold. We don't need that. What I'm looking for is... Well, I, I guess I'll buy those uh, books here. That's, that's law. I don't know um, how you get it. Or I don't know if it, it gets you anything, but... Um, We'll have it now, and I'm not going to read it to you. It's a flippant book. Okay, there's some infusions here. Anything I want? Not really. Nah, that's nothing I need. I think I missed the runes here. Uh, shielding rune... Nah, we have a good shielding rune. Okay. Any uh, nice rings they have. Sometimes you get an artifact here. Uh, you can get special jewelry from this guy if you have a gem and a, a blank ring. We don't have that yet. We could buy like this gold ring and uh, toss in a jewel from here. Maybe this one because it's the most expensive we currently have. And then we'd get an own ring, but it, I think it costs 100 gold, so we're not going to do that. Mana streaming is kind of useless to us. We don't need mana. Uh, mana is it's very specific about resources, so um, we have Equilibrium and there is a chance for us that we get mage skills that, that would use mana. But right now that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna leave the place. I'll just go here because I like to check if they have good rune. Okay, next up we could also go into the Labyrinth, but I'm a bit scared of that because Sometimes you get the um, you get a rather easy one, and sometimes you get a boss that always kills me, and I mean really always. So I think I'm gonna try this first. The ruins of Corpool, and we're gonna pop up here. <coughs> Basically, we're a bit too experienced for this place, so we could stroll down to level three. Or we could, well, stay here and, and make our way through it normally. Which I'm gonna do, because it's, it's more experience that way. We might be able to hit level 9, in fact. And we find a journal page. Damn that Zemeckis! Damn his insane experiments! Why in the blackest night did I ever able to take part in them? Oh yeah, because I was broke. Ah! I think I might have considered things differently had I known I'd be transported without my clothes, though. Imagine my embarrassment turning up in a foreign land with my... my unmentionables on display. Thankfully, I managed to borrow a rope from a friendly farmer, and did some work for him to earn gold enough for a bit of food, a journal, and the rusty old sword. When I heard there were ruins filled with undead nearby, I knew my calling had come. So here am I, the mighty Sun Paladin Teltar, to prove my strength in these foreign lands to the of the West. But all I found so far is rats. I hate rats. Well, uh, let's follow the story of this uh, Sun Paladin here. Maybe we'll find more of his stuff. There's the uh, entrance to the next level. I'm not gonna use that in a while. Alright, I can have three summons now. Isn't that awesome? Let's summon a jelly. Yeah, that helps you a lot. Ooh, that looks like a vault. You get a warning that this door has been sealed off. So you can open it, and you will end up with a very strong enemy. In fact, I'm gonna shield here. I'm gonna summon a turtle. 
and I'm going to switch places with it. <coughs> That's a technique I was pretty happy when I figured it out, uh, because it allows me to, uh, well, switch places with a summon, which means I can... Uh, I can do a lot, and I don't have to uh, risk getting into uh, some sort of danger. Well, I, I am getting into danger, but it, like, I don't risk to uh, uh, walk or I don't have to walk around, which is generally good because it means less risk of being hit. So yeah, those sealed off doors are pretty. Uh, they give you a warning, and it's a fair one. Let's just check if that mine star is better than my current ones. A gifted mine star of balance. What's that doing? Uh, I can also compare. I think with control, yeah. Oh, we see that. Ooh, it restores equilibrium when I get hit. I mean, it's not the greatest way to restore things, but I guess I'll take it. Yeah, it has more modifiers than this one, so I'm gonna use that. <coughs> those doors aren't sealed, but there might be strong enemies into those as well. And sometimes you find artifacts as well, so uh, it's generally worth looking, but it is dangerous. So if you're out of luck, you get a very, very strong one to spawn on you. And that kinda sucks. I mean, this guy's level 21 as well, so a lot of experience we get out of this, but yeah, it's, it's dangerous. Let's see what we got here. The Black Boots. It's a treacherous road to the top of the world. Nice. So yeah, that's the price you get for those um, for opening those. Uh, for each point of shadow power, I don't know what shadow power is, but I want those boots. We don't have boots right right now, so we'll we'll just use those. How could I not have any boots yet? Okay, that is an assassin, level twenty-four, and I'm beginning to question my plan of getting into this place. Oh wow, it really hits up. Um. Gonna move away here. Let it play with a hound. How? It insta kills. Oh my goodness. That's 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 bad. Uh, have a tortoise. And I guess the flame spitter over here. And a spider over here. And yes, I'm just summoning random things to uh, try and survive this. Oh, this assassin could kill me. This one could kill me. Uh, let's meditate. Okay, all my summons on cooldown. Which is not very good. I'm gonna use this because it will give me yeah, five turns. I should use that up in time. Uh, why is it not cooling down? Okay, we survived. But yeah, this is always a bit intense because... Uh, and of course I had to open the next door. Um, it was just hiding. Shouldn't have done that. At 24th. 11.24 Thief. Oh my goodness, they, they're insta-killing everything. Ow! Yikes. Uh, have a flame spiller. I'm gonna heal myself here. Why is it so strong? Okay. Uh, there's no point in summoning the Hydra. Ow. Spider. Get in there. Ow! That's not good. Let's heal. Then use that. Uh, 
jelly. Come forth and go in there. Okay. Uh, have a hound. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, you see the flames for that. I was hoping it would go this way and uh, fight. <sighs> yeah. Dangerous place. And I know the ruins are like that. The ruins give and they take. They mostly take though. And yeah, that's that's the, the thing about risk management, yeah. You have to, to estimate your risk and, and consider what you can what you can do and what you can't. And this is clearly something I can do but I shouldn't have done. Ugh, blindness. I hate blindness. Of course this restored the wrong thing. Uh, did, did we kill it? I think we did. Good. Let's see what rune we got here. An insidious poison infusion of the duelist. That wasn't worth it. Oh well. We'll get some stuff out of this. Ow. Damn it! Another rogue. Uh, turtle. Hound. Get in there. Yeah, it really kills the hounds quick quickly, so... Uh, gotta get out of the way here. Summon a jelly. How? Do you stop it? Oh, we got. Uh, we found lore. <coughs> Memories of Archmage Varel. From an objective viewpoint, you would think the spell hunt futile, but it was not so. You couldn't imagine the barbarism of the mage hunting mobs. They would abuse and persecute any day sounds eccentric, many of whom had no connection to magic at all. True mages would sometimes speak up in an act of altruism, just to stop the suffering of the innocent. But this only fueled the Horde's anger. Other mages, those less forgiving and more given to action, would attack the roving mobs. They soon learned that against sufficient numbers magic is not omnipotent. Ones I saw they were set upon by dozens, their controlled flames and bolts of energy failing against the maddened crowds. They would often literally rip the mage limb from limb. It was horrific. Angle when Linali Ill calls it. I have known Linali Ill for many years and I know she has lost many loved ones to the spell hunt. But she still holds truth to her belief that one day we will be accepted once again. If this is the cause of the action she desires, I will follow her without question. So yeah, we found some lore. I don't know if it does anything for us again, but we have it. We also looted this, uh, this kind of vault. Uh, you saw those are places with, of great danger, but also of great rewards. Sometimes you even get multiple uh, unique things out of them. Okay, the black boots. I want to see which tire they are. Oh, tier 2. Nice. Uh, I'm going to break off the episode here because it's been over 15 minutes now. So, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.